Welcome guys to the last tide of war. In here I will guide you how to finishing it and reaching SS rank with 3 cycle left. So let's jump into it. First thing first, great uh, pace in here. It's, uh, the uh, pace 2 in here, you, think, uh, you should be uh, using hyper speed. I know like this, uh, the top one is uh, kind of like a bit, uh, the condition is a bit easier, but the second one is way, way better because this one is right away giving you 12 grid instead of consecutively like a 2, 4, 6, and so on. 12 right away. Even though the condition is a bit kind of like hard, like you need to uh, consecutive attack uh, on an uh, on character or just triggering a follow up attack. But uh, once you're realizing, this one is way easier to trigger than uh, you you think. So using high speed, speed in phase two, in phase three in here, both are quite good, like good. But a uh, chain application is a bit less. Like I only reaching like two cycle left. So basically just using master exploder and you are good to go. And re uh, a little bit reminder: when you using master exploder, please just attacking the boss only never ever ever attacking minion at all at all man at all so there you go uh, grid phase three uh basically you uh once your character have uh, their turn come come you have two more uh uh bonus uh, bonus uh turn but it's only happened once uh, for every grid uh, phase four so uh for example you are in grid four and uh, your doctor ratio uh turn is come come he gonna have three uh turn after he using his th three turn and another character another uh monster and he he his uh his turn is come out again still in grid four now he don't have a two extra turn again just one turn so you need to be careful with that so yeah just a little bit reminder for uh for the enemy in here uh in every wave there is fire so fire is a way to go and the second one in here i'm using imaginary and not using uh physical but if you have a really good uh argenti or hanya you can using them but in this example, I'm not gonna use physical character at all. So yeah, in wave one, in wave one, you need to reaching like a uh, grid pace to a uh, grid pace two at least, if if not grid pace three. And when uh when the boss is almost dead, like almost dead, and we are almost go to wave two. You need to preserve the skill, uh, the ultimate for every character because in wave two in here we are gonna fighting with this gorilla. In this gorilla, this gorilla have a uh, ability that once his turn come out, he gonna have two uh, consecutive turn, and in the second turn, he's gonna steal up his toughness. This is really bad when he stilled up his uh, toughness before you destroying it uh, you cannot like a weakness break him and every attack that you thrown at him is gonna be less effective so you need to uh, uh, be careful with that for the wave 3 you just need to all out attack just attacking her ASAP I think uh, that's it and also just a little bit reminder she don't have a uh, imaginary uh, weakness so for you who have a lot of good imaginary character it's kind of a bit tough for her in here she just need to using uh, uh, other uh, weakness break uh, uh, we, uh, weakness other than other than yeah imaginary so imaginary sucks for uh, wave 3 in here in here i'm i'm, I'm all out with a fire uh, fire character in wave 3 so that's it for the monster, monster and for our character in here i'm using almost all the trial character uh, except for Pella. 
and there is doctor ratio in trial but i'm using my own doctor ratio because like you can see in here uh doctor ratio in the trial is a uh, quite bad like his stat is kind of mid and the light code is good but it's still super imposer one so because i know a lot of people uh, got almost all people got a doctor ratio please using your own doctor ratio especially your uh, doctor ratio stat and light code is way way better than the trial one so like example uh, mine in here is, is kind of mid but is way better than uh, the trial one for uh extra captain here pella i'm not really fan of uh fans of pella but she was quite good in here objectively so i'm using her in here like you can see it's still level 70 uh, he, her speed is kind of meh the light con is kind of meh <laughs> not fully upgrading 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 her yet so yeah the only good thing is in here is only the uh, E6 in here. Yeah, it is what it is, but still quite good in here. So I think that's all that I should say. There is something that I want to say when we are in the fight. So yeah, let's jump to the fight. Here we go. Okay. In here, there is a bit RNG here in there. Like uh, it's up to you. Like uh some and uh the enemy is sometimes attacking uh, adventuring or uh, other character it's up to you but in here i will uh, restarting it uh and hope that the enemy is attacking pella because in my case uh pella need to be attacked twice uh there's gonna be a attack from boss or the at the enemy so we'll see uh, i hope another enemy is attacking pella Pella need to be attacked twice. Good. One. Oh yeah. Uh, put a uh, proof of that in the boss. It's a bit RNG. Uh, proof of that sometimes it's like upon the uh, minion. It is what it is. Ah, Pella is not being attacked. Yeah, Pella is not being attacked. I will come back when Pella being attacked twice. So I will pausing it and I'll come back when Pella being attacked. So uh, wait a bit. Okay, I'm come back. In here, Pella is being attacked by both our minions. So now we are good. So I'm sorry guys, a bit RNG here and there. Yeah. But we can uh, restarting it uh, wh while, we, uh, while it's still uh, early. Okay, you now doesn't matter if the boss is not attacking Pella because Pella is already being attacked twice. In here, 70, good. 70, oh, uh, 70 plus 28, oh, wait a minute. Okay, okay, I will just using a uh, skill. I will just using skill. If uh, Pella being attacked three times, I just need to using a uh, just a uh, basic attack, but uh in here i will using skill point it is what it is but it's all good because once we using ultimate we can uh uh have a extra turn oh yeah i will uh say uh, a little bit in here okay for pella just a little bit uh, uh kind of like a reminder bit for, Pe uh, for pella you need to using her ultimate at least once for every boss. So at least one per boss. Uh, more is is better. And for doctor race, uh, doctor ratio in here. Uh, you just need using his uh, skill point and ultimate ASAP, ASAP, almost every time, uh, except for when the first boss one uh, almost dead. You need to preserving it for the second boss like i said before i think that's it for topaz and ambi uh, always remember that proof of depth uh, all should be always in the boss not in the minion always uh, remember to put it back to the boss if it's a uh, lay upon the uh, minion i think that's it 
basically you just need using her full up attack as much as possible and her skill point is what uh, you should be using her skill point uh, uh, skill if you have a little bit skill point you, sh uh, you should be prioritize her skill point instead of doctor ratio because uh, her skill ability in here like you can see using this skill to deal damage is considered as launching a follow-up attack so like you know in a uh, great pace follow-up attack is really really good so her follow-up attack is way uh, like her skill point is uh, way above another character in here so i think that's it for her and for adventuring for adventuring please don't ever ever using his skill point just using a basic attack from very beginning to the end and using his ultimate asap except when the first uh, boss uh, almost dead and wait for the second boss to come out like uh like dr ratio so yeah i think uh topaz and abitu uh, need to be wait uh, wait if the first boss almost dead so i think that's it and let's go back okay yes normal attack destroy his toughness boom sweet okay in here uh in here we uh you can see like he has a uh, half bar is still uh like still almost full so we are using our ultimate remember you preserve uh, the ultimate when the boss is almost dead not right now so for not right now we are just using it right away Good. There you go. There's a lot of follow up attack in here, man. This is really good. Oh, man. Sweet. Always remember, throw up that on boss. Use our ultimate. Wait. Twice right away, man. <laughs> and has for for attack twice right away. That's really cool. Okay, uh, just extra skill point from Pella. Pella, Pella. Oh, sweet man, sweet. I think I will not using it right away. Yeah, we are using it. We are gonna. Perceiving it for the second boss, yeah. Go on, good. Okay, in here we are got we are gonna using her ultimate. Always remember using her ultimate in every boss. At least once. Okay, in here we are should be destroying. Ah oh, man. Ah man, I don't think we have time for destroying his uh, ultimate in here. Yeah, it's, it's a bit RNG. Before I able to destroy his uh, toughness, but not in here. So it is what it is. But yeah, I hope I can still finishing it. Even though his uh, his uh, shielding up his toughness, it is what it is. There you go. Bruh. It's a bit late for Dr. Ratio and Aventurine, but it is what it is. I will try it. Bruh. Bruh. Zero 
Okay, I will using. Okay, I will uh, bump up. Topas enambi. Ini dia. Uh, Aventurin ya. Enhance good. Okay, uh, Doctor is is gonna be using his follow up. Enhance follow up. Good. Now we are gonna using his follow up again. Uh, ultimate again. Okay, you see it? Boom. Boom. Sweet. Because the t uh, toughness, man, because the toughness is uh, being locked, the attack is less prevalent, uh, less effective. Before I. It's, it's really fast in here, man, with Dr. Ratio. Really, really fast. Especially, like, I have, like, twice ultimate war doctor ratio in here really really good man okay in here we don't have a we don't have skill point so yeah i i i forget to using Vela. man i forget I should use Vela right away, man. I forget. But it is what it is. And our ultimate again for this boss. Okay, in here, uh, Venturin and uh, Doctor Ratio is less effective against uh, Cocolia because she doesn't have imaginary weakness. So we are gonna. Uh, focusing attack with uh, Topaz and Ambi. But the attack is quite big though, like 120 ish, like more than 100k for basic attack for adventure. Man, crazy. Crazy, man. Three time. Ah, come on, one, one, once again, top as enemy, top as enemy. Ah, why Pella? Top as enemy, brah. Okay, we can using uh, his ultimate. Sweet. Sweet. Attack it once. Good. Attack Topaz and Nambi. Thank you so much. Good. Yikes. Sure, I'll play long. Sure, I'm playing long. Um. Yeah. Good ultimate. It's a bit less, but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. With the risk high reward, liquidation, enemy targets detected. Ready for another? 
Ah, we are not winning it, man. Yeah, it's a bit RNG then. Yeah, it's a bit RNG here and there. But at least we can reach SS in here, at least. Oh, Aventurian. Crazy, man. Crazy. That is Coccolia. Crazy. Unaffected by Coccolia. Crazy. Good. Now again, three time I guess. Okay. Uh, before that, I think I will add up top S and Ambi, Venturin, and yeah. Ah, it is what it is, man. We we don't have SS in here. Bit RNG, man. If you have uh, like a uh, not trial like a uh, top S and Ambi and Venturin is gonna be SS man absolutely with this uh, strategy you you have a less RNG ultimate oh sweet Oh, seventy K. Okay, there you go. There you go, S man. Yeah, I know it's a bit RNG before, because the the uh, the one that making it's uh not reaching SS is the is second boss before in second boss as long as you can destroying uh, the second boss uh, weakness break you can reaching ss man absolutely that's the only uh, rng that you should uh, thinking destroying the second boss uh, toughness before his turn come out so yeah so i'm so sorry uh, i'm not reaching ss but the strategy is uh, is here man i already reaching ss uh, by myself anyway several time but when i'm recording it it's a bit rng so yeah here i reaching ss uh, except for the number three because number three sucks but for other one it's all the ss so i think that's it that's the last uh, tide of war so thank you so much for everyone who uh watching it uh maybe a uh, one maybe number number one number four number three or number five or this one thank you so much for everyone watching this uh series Thank you so much. I hope uh, God bless you. And if you like this kind of content, you can go to panglimakegelapan.star.page. In there, you can find all of my social media and how to support me. Or just say hi when I'm live streaming next time. So, thank you so much. And there is something that you want to ask, please ask me in the comment section. So, thank you so much. See you again next time. Bye.